What's up you guys? As you guys can tell, my name is not Maddie. My name is actually John and I have a channel on YouTube called Obese to Beast. Maddie actually asked me to make a video for his channel while he is getting married and he is on his honeymoon. So congratulations to Maddie. Super proud of you man and I'm really happy for you. So he asked me to make a video basically just telling you guys about my story and about what I've been through and hopefully to give you guys some tips as well. So if you're not familiar with my story, let me kind of just tell you guys what I've been through and, and you know why I have a YouTube channel. So the reason that I have a YouTube channel, as you guys know, it's called Obese to Beast. I actually used to be 360 pounds at my heaviest weight, and that's when I was 20 years old. Uh, so just to give you guys a little bit of a background of me and my story, uh, Maddie asked me to tell you guys a little bit about my story. I had been obese for my whole and my entire life, from what I could remember, you know? As a kid, I just kind of gained weight, gained weight, gained weight, and I had just gained weight my entire life up until I was 20 years old. And as you guys can imagine, when you are 20 years old and you're 360 pounds, and and tying your shoes is hard and, and going to anywhere to eat is hard because you're, you're afraid you're not going to be able to fit in the seats. You're no longer living anymore. And I always say that. I was no longer living my life. I was just existing in the world. You know, I wasn't living. I was just existing. Everything that I did felt like it was harder than it should be. Everything was just difficult, and it, that that might not sound like it's too bad, but when when you when you can't reach down and tie your own shoes, it can be really it's just a terrible terrible thing, and uh, so that was that was really hard for me. Uh, so the the time that I decided to change, I was actually. <laughs> sitting in my room, binge watching on Netflix, which is something that I still do, but I was binge watching Netflix and I was actually watching this show called Miami Inc. Uh, Miami Inc, if you're not familiar with what that is, is basically a show that talks about tattoos and it's just a documentary show basically, reality TV show that just talks about tattoos and they give people tattoos. So I had been binge watching it for a long time and I'm someone that really enjoys tattoos and I have, you know, I have a few tattoos and I would, I would watch the show and I would always feel kind of bummed out because I couldn't get any more tattoos. I had these two right here, so this one right here and this one right here. So the two that are on my forearms, I already had those tattoos and I would always think to myself, man, I really wish that I could get more tattoos, but I just felt like too embarrassed to get them anywhere else on my body because I felt like, you know, I was so big that that was, that they would look funny, right? So I was watching Netflix and this guy came on that had actually lost a lot of weight and they asked him, they said, what was it that made you want to change? You know, the question that everybody asked. And he just said, you know what, like, I was sick of being where I was and I told myself, and they said like, well, how did you, you know, keep going? He said, I told myself that if I wanted like a double cheeseburger, all this terrible food that I would eat, I would, I would ask myself, is it worth being back to where you were? You know, being at that point. And at that, that night is when I decided to change and, and my life has been completely different ever since then and, and I've been able to make this YouTube channel that hopefully has been able to help people, well not this YouTube channel, this isn't my channel, this is Ben's channel, but my, my YouTube channel, I've been able to make that and hopefully, uh, you know, inspire people and help people as much as I can. So that's a little bit of background on me, what I've been through. Um, now I'm, I just want to let you guys know where I'm at now. Now I'm 22 years old, so I got down to 190 pounds was my lowest weight, so I lost 170 pounds. And now I'm at about like 205 because I'm actually bulking up to compete in a men's physique show. So that's gonna that's kind of what I am going through right now. So I wanted to bring up three habits of people, of myself and other people that I've talked to that have lost a lot of weight and that have kind of maintained their weight loss. I wanted to bring up three habits that I can hopefully give to you guys that will hopefully help you guys out if you're trying to lose a lot of weight or even if you're trying to, you know, maintain your fitness. Just three habits that I feel like will help you guys out. Habit number one. The first habit that I have is, this is a very, very simple one, but this is one that I, I feel I can help a lot of people out. So, habit number one is stop eating pointless calories or drinking pointless calories because the main thing with just pointless calories and what I mean by that is like almost all liquid calories are pretty pointless if you're trying to lose weight right because if you think about it in a coke you can end up drinking 300 400 calories and just like something that's this big and and you don't even think about it that's not even food that's like you, you doesn't even feel like you it fills you up at all so stop drinking your calories and eating pointless calories like eating calories that do nothing for you as far as like candies are concerned there's nothing wrong with eating candies but you know make sure you're not just overdoing it and eating whenever and just kind of mindlessly putting them into your body because that 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 doesn't help you at all. Habit number two that I want to bring up, and this is probably something that a lot of you guys have already found out because if you're on Maddie's channel or any YouTube fitness channel, you already are 
really concerned and really interested in fitness becoming part of your life, but that's gonna be habit number two is fitness and, and making that part of your life. And that doesn't mean, you know, bodybuilding or powerlifting or anything. It means whatever you enjoy doing that's gonna get you out of the house and off the couch is really gonna help you out. Because I want you to understand that if it's something that you enjoy, you're a lot more likely to keep doing it, you know, five days a week, six days a week than you are if it's something that you hate. And the reason that I bring this up is because I've met so many people that will lose a lot of weight but they don't make fitness a part of their life at all. They don't they don't enjoy working out, they don't find something that they enjoy doing. So what they end up doing is cutting their calories and they just keep cutting and cutting and cutting and now they're eating an insanely low amount of calories and when you when you start eating that small amount of calories, this is a whole other video that I could talk about, but you end up getting metabolic damage. You cannot like if you were to eat say 1500 calories, you actually gain weight on that and we all know that. I mean, depending on your size, but if you're eating 1500 calories, you should not be gaining weight. But if you end up not making fitness a part of your life, you're not gonna be g gaining that muscle because you guys know that the more muscle you have, the more calories you're gonna be burning throughout the day. So you're not gonna be able to do that. So if you don't have fitness as a part of your life, a lot of people just end up cutting their calories and they just keep cutting until they, they're eating maybe 800 calories a day and that can be really dangerous. So my number two habit is just make fitness a part of your life. Habit number three is having an attitude of forgiveness for yourself. What I mean by that is there's a lot of people that will, and this is something that I would do as well, you end up you know, maybe going off your diet or whatever it is that you're trying to do, you eat more calories than you're supposed to and you don't forgive yourself and all you do is end up beating yourself up and beating yourself up and then that's when I feel like a lot of people end up backsliding all the way back to where they started because they never really forgave themselves and they end up just beating themselves up so much that they feel like they're su stuck such in a hole that there's no way that they can really climb themselves out of it. There's no way that they can get out of it because they, they beat themselves down so much and, and when you don't forgive yourself, you're just not happy with who you you are as a person and the things that you've you know you've done and I know this is kind of getting a little bit deep for weight loss but it really does help out a lot if you really can just forgive yourself for the mistakes that you maybe made last night at the all the food that you ate or something and just really focus on tomorrow and focus on the next day because if you don't forgive yourself there's no way that you're gonna be able to move on if you're still stuck on the things that you have maybe messed up on the day before so I really hope that that video helped you guys out. I really hope that you guys are able to implement those three habits that I brought up and I hope that it can help you, you know, on your fitness goals. And I really appreciate, really, I really appreciate Maddie letting me bring this video to his channel. It's crazy because I, I've been a fan of fitness YouTube and Maddie was one of the first people that I ever subscribed to. And the fact that he has reached out to me and asked me and trusted me to put a video on his channel really does mean a lot. So thank you, Maddie, and thank you guys if you got to this point in the video. Thank you for watching the video. Like I said, I really hope that it helped you guys out. And if you guys do like this video, please feel free to come over and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of videos that are very similar. And then I have vlogs as well, very similar to Maddie's channel. And you know, we're all just trying to do the same thing. I'm trying to inspire and trying to help you guys as well as show you guys my journey and what I'm trying to do. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you, Maddie, again. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it.